to 10. All right, Bram, thanks. The other big story we're tracking tonight, devastation in California, high winds adding fuel to what has already become the most devastating and deadly fire in California history. Firefighters on the front lines are throwing everything they have at the growing flames, doing anything they can to protect homes there. Sadly, the death toll has now risen to 29, and officials say that that could continue to rise. Resources are already spread thin as firefighters work to combat three separate fires burning across the state. Entire neighborhoods have already been swallowed up by the flames. You could see over here what it was like. It was gorgeous. You just start over, you know. Yeah, that's the tough part about living in paradise. This is complete devastation. And I've seen a lot of things that I wish I didn't have to see. More than 200 people are still missing. Today, some crews are sweeping through residential streets, clearing piles of debris, while others are searching for people who may have been uh, left behind. The grueling recovery is just beginning, but up from the ashes, some are finding hope. Team 12's Monica Garcia talked with evacuees who say they found a sign from above in the rubble of their home. On this Veterans Day, the people of Paradise Valley know all too well sacrifice. With their town nearly wiped out, thousands of homes destroyed, but the VFW still stands. Kathy Larson evacuated Paradise three days ago. This is the only thing standing in front of the Paradise Cemetery. This picture posted by a friend on social media of Paradise Cemetery captures the tone of this Veterans Day. It's a sign from the man upstairs that America will be strong and we will fight back from this and we will re rebuild paradise one step at a time. She says she feels fortunate that all her family is accounted for. Which is a resemblance of the fr fight that we have get given our lives for and still give our lives for. If we would have waited five more minutes, we wouldn't be here today. Because as of right now, for many families, it's the unknown that's the worst part. Less than 50 feet away from destruction right across the street, a forever symbol of strength and community. In paradise, I'm Monica Garcia, 12 News. All right, Monica, thank you. And crews from the Valley are helping to fight those flames. Nearly 150 firefighters left Arizona on Friday, heading to California. And you can count on 12 to bring you continuing coverage of the efforts to control these brutal California fires. Team 12's Monica Garcia is there on the ground. She'll show us how crews from Arizona are working nonstop.